And a sports official forced to hide his sexuality for decades tonight. What college athletes have to say about breaking that barrier. A hot button issue in professional sports makes its way onto college campuses. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. First tonight, sexual orientation continues to be a challenge in the locker room. New at 10, the night team's Danica Lewis shows us how one Madison school is taking on the issue. Danica? Well, Jennifer, Eric, pro football could see its first openly gay kicker if that's how this year's draft pans out. It's a topic athletes can no longer ignore. Athletes and those making the calls. Making a comparison, I think, would be minimizing what it is to come out and how hard it is. Kristen Boone plays for Edgewood College and for her brother, someone who came out as gay this past year. And it's so sad that they are having to hide what they're, what's really them and who they are as a person. Teammate Tim Morgan also sees a sexuality stigma in sports. You hear about it in sports, but at the same time, it's kind of a subject that people try to avoid. Before tennis practice, an auditorium of Edgewood athletes listened to Dave Pallone talk a little baseball and a lot of life. I knew right then and there that I had to tell the world about who Dave Pallone truly was. No pun intended, but I needed to set the record straight about my life and all about who I was. Pallone worked on the diamond for decades as an MLB umpire. He hid his double life for the dream of making calls until the league uncovered his secret. Baseball found out that I was gay and they abruptly fired me. They took away my childhood dream for no other reason than for who I was. It was as if someone came into my body and ripped my heart. Right out of me. A baseball coach himself, athletic director Al Brizak, wants everyone at Edgewood to appreciate diversity. That's our job. I mean, it, our job is to teach them the skill of the game, but it's to educate them, prepare them for life. It's a conversation on and off the court that has only just begun. I honestly really believe that as soon as that first person comes out in professional sports, especially for men, that it will open the door for everyone else. Now, Edgewood's athletic director says he's constantly having to address new issues with his teams. For instance, he tells me the NCAA is figuring out how to involve transgender players now. Dave Pallone wrote an autobiography and now tours colleges across the country. A little perspective tonight. Yeah. Monica Lewis reporting. Thank you. Thank you.